So we're back at it with another video. This is a pretty fun game. The time is 3 plus 0. It's a blitz rated game on Lee Chess. So I start with e4, uh, e5, and then knight to f3. Uh, I'm looking to play the scotch variation in this game. Um, he just supports his pawn in the middle. I push forward. He chooses not to take, so I elect to take in the middle. And he takes my knight. I'm happy with this. It gives me the bishop pair. And I'm still strong in the middle. My queen's developed. After he captures back, I'm up a temple on him. So I just go for a quick checkmate. See if this guy is any good. Uh, he defends with the knight. I look to put pressure on the knight. And he defends it twice. Or three times. It, uh, with the development of his dark square bishop. I castle. Brings my king over safety with ideas of... Moving the rook over to the D file, he advances his pawn, I threaten the queen, and the queen finds safety. I take the horse, or the knight, he captures back with his bishop, and then I just improve the position of the queen. He castles to safety, uh, no, 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 dat, no ideas of queen to D7 here, or excuse me, of uh, potentially having my queen infiltrate. Queen d7 is a blunder. So he castles. I develop my knight. He threatens my bishop. I retreat. He advances his other pawn. So I elect to create a safe place for my bishop. He pushes and I def and, and I hide in this. But I tuck myself in this back corner with this nice pin on the king. This is the first blunder of the game, I believe. He moves his knight to d7, which I have attacked twice. So if that's just a free knight, he moves his queen. And then I double up my rooks on the d-file. Very strong position for me, and it's quite a nice finish. He brings his rook over. I decide that I don't want this bishop here. It's kind of the glue holding his uh, defense together. So he unpins himself. I threaten the bishop. And in this instance, he, he's low on time, but he really doesn't have a good square for the bishop. Uh, so he just decides to take, I guess, which I'm like, okay, I'll take a, another of your minor pieces. So I'm up two minor pieces at this point for a pawn. And then he just forces my queen to move back. And then he looks to trade. I don't, I, I decide not to take his rook here because that's just losing trade for me. Instead, I make him come to me. So I reposition the knight, maneuver it over just in case he decides to get aggressive with my halfway exposed king. He captures, I capture back. Uh, he improves the position of his queen attacking the c-pawn, which I just ignore. I'm looking to trade rooks. He declines, I attempt again, he declines again. And then in this position I find a nasty bait. Uh, with 20 seconds left, most players aren't going to find this. But... The, the move is queen to e6. Now, the queen cannot be captured, as you'll see, it's just it's a forced checkmate. Um, but yeah, really bearing down on this guy, looking to capture the rook. The only... The only the, if I were in black, I just would have tried to keep my... I would have moved my queen to the f-file, perhaps. I, I would have just tried to keep my king alive. But he's greedy, and he captures the queen, and forced checkmate, d8. Uh, no way to defend this. Uh, he tries to block with the rook and the queen. It doesn't matter. It's just checkmate. So, hope you enjoyed this game, and we'll see you in the next one.